All right, guys, this is Joe again. Um, using Copper uh, Copper Cube Cam Studio Open Source. Um, in this one, I'm going to uh, show you how to make this character walk along this path here. If you can see that, this character here will um, randomly patrol. Now, first, I'll show you just how to make a uh, a path. All you do is go up into here to your create path and you'll see that it pops one down right there move it over and let me see here I'm going to try to flatten that out because if you see there'll be humps in it and if there's a hump your character will walk up in the air it'll walk and go up near and over so you want your stuff pretty flat so I have that chosen right there go back to the sets path in the attributes, I look for the middle section of numbers, and this will place it down on a grid, supposedly. Zero, enter. So it will drop it right down there. And let's just bring it up a little bit so we can see. So if you can see, these are some of our path nodes. And you can actually use the move tool to stretch them out. Now, say you want an extra path node because you're just going here, here, to here. So, say you wanted to start over here. We just go over here to create path node. And it'll create one from the select, the one that you had selected. And again, you can move it. So, that's how you would do that. Now, we don't need this path. So, I'm going to go and delete that. But you'll see there that I have one already made. That's path one and it belongs to the sleepwalker so now I'm going to go to sleepwalker here okay and this is all your regular attributes position and uh, I put him down on the ground so we'll go to behaviors and you know to click add a new behavior and we want it to be the game actor with health and AI so let's select that and in mode you'll see that you have this is the player that would be the game player himself. You have stand still, random patrol, and walk along path. Well, we select the walk along path. You have your patrol wait time. Don't know what that is yet. Um, path to follow. And you'll see that I just went and it, it will give you a list of all the paths. And we just wanted path one. Movement speed. I would keep probably around 10 to 12. You have to probably... You have to mess with it to see what it how uh, how good it looks with your um, walking animation. Um, if you go down to like say movement speed of one, it looks like he's not moving, and that's also for the pathfinding. All right, so we have him connected to path one, and then you could add all of your animations to it and all that. So he's taken care of on the path, and we'll see him walk along the path. But man. Again, we go into behaviors, mode we want, like I said, we want uh, randomly patrol, and then patrol radius, how far out he'll go and patrol, so wait time, again, moving speed, I put him around 10, and you have the rest of your stuff you can put in there, and let me see here, I'm going to go up in tools, and I'm going to test this. And you'll see that, move back a little, the sleepwalker is going to follow the path, and the man is actually just doing a random patrol. Now the random patrol, it seems like it doesn't work well on a um, on hills and everything. So I think you want the random patrol more or less on flat ground. I see. I seem to have a lot of trouble with that. But as you can see... He's following along his pathway. And there we go. There's those two guys. We'll stop watching them. Escape. And then also, let me go back here to Sleepwalker. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Let's go back to Path 1. And if you go into the Behaviors, I'm sorry, Attributes, you'll see Is Closed Circle. So if you tick Is Closed Circle, it'll wrap up. 
it'll go from the starting point you know to the end point and it'll actually wrap it and make it a circle and you can adjust for the tightness and that should be all it's two real basic uh, AI movements and I'm gonna bring up Paracam Studio alright this was Joe um, with Copper Cube alright guys thanks for watching